there. Welcome to Imagination Television. I'm Vandana Bharatwaz. Today on Imagination, first we have some segments from last Sunday's candlelight vigil near the White House for the Oak Creek Gurdwara victims, then announcements of upcoming events, and in today's talk, my chat with Senator Dick Black. More than a thousand people attended a candlelight vigil held in front of the White House here in the U.S. Capitol on the night of Sunday, August 12th, for the victims of the Oak Creek Gurdwara shooting. It was the second such event held in front of the White House since the shooting on August 5, 2012, which left six devotees and white supremacist gunmen dead. Several hundred had attended Wednesday night's vigil. Both the events were organized through a Facebook group invite. Besides members of the local Sikh and larger Indian American communities, a number of political leaders from the neighboring Virginia and Maryland attended the vigil. Former Virginia Governor and Senator George Allen, Virginia State Senator Dick Black, State Delegate David Ramadan, and Maryland Deputy Secretary of State Rajan Natarajan addressed the gathering. Arthur Davis, a former member of the U.S. Congress, and Paul Montero, Associate Director at the White House Office of Public Engagement, also spoke at the occasion. My name is Simrithi Pornager. We have gathered here this evening to honor the fallen of the Wisconsin Godara shooting. In the heart of this great nation, we show our support for all the fallen of last week's shooting, their family members, and equally those affected by violent crimes resulting from xenophobia. To those that will choose to hate others based on the color of their skin, their appearance, or the faith they choose to follow, we hold steadfast in our practice of, in the, in our, practice of our faith. We will meet your hatred with love we will prevail, prevail where you will fail. America, friends from India, friends that all love peace, and friends who all re recognize that the first freedom in America is freedom of religion. It is a solemn time that we all gather. I look at the young people in front of us. We want them to have opportunities in life that are better than ours. We would hate to see any young people lead their lives in fear. I've been to India, and I know many of you all here are from India. I met, it, met when I was in the U.S. Senate with Prime Minister Singh. The United States and India have so many things in common, and we do need to make sure that our partnership is strong. There are many different religions and faiths that are presented here today. May all of us say a silent prayer to the power we worship, that these young men and women in front of me, as beautiful as they are, 
grow up in a world that sees their beauty, that sees their wonderful spirit, and that they do not grow up in a world of hate and prejudice and bigotry. May we ask our higher powers to slay that world and liberate us all from it. May God bless you, and thank you so much for welcoming me today. I just wanted to come out here um, and show solidarity with the community. The community, not simply the sick community, but all Americans that are here tonight and across the country honoring what we lost last Sunday. And in a week where we've seen the worst of the human spirit in the violent and senseless actions in Oak Creek uh, last Sunday, we've also seen some of the best of the human spirit. I would like to extend my deepest sympathy and a profound condolences to the people who lost their loved ones due to the terrible event at the Sikh temple, Oak Creek in Wisconsin. The spirit does all, causes all to be done, and it protects us through all incidents of time and space. Satwan Singh Kalikar died protecting other people. Did he die as a Sikh hero? Or did he die as an American hero? I want to hear. I want to hear loudly. How did he die? He was an American hero because he protected the lives of other Americans. Historically, we have been targeted by different people since the travel of Guru Nanak around the world. We have been steadfast in our faith and forest the world to spread the universal message of Guru Nanak. It is in this spirit of positive thinking or charity kala that the memorandum has been drafted and will be presented to President of United States of America. No single author, no single writer, no single speaker can capture the thoughts and feelings of an entire community. For that to occur, an entire community must participate. Peace to all.